really worries me, though, is, um, is again, the intersection with the government around issues around, uh, about security. So, you know, the 30-second version of the Zintrain story is um, there's going to be an I-9-11 event, which doesn't mean an Al-Qaeda event. What it means is uh, an event where the instability or the insecurity of the internet um, uh, becomes manifest, some major uh, uh, malicious uh, event, which then inspires the government into a response. If you remember, after 9-11, the government dropped the Patriot Act within about 20 days, and it was passed. And the Patriot Act's huge. I remember somebody asking um, uh, a Justice Department official, how did they write such a large statute so quickly? And of course the answer was, it's been sitting in the drawers of the Justice Department for the last 20 years, waiting for the event that would allow them to drop it. And of course the Patriot Act is filled with all sorts of insanity about you know, changing the way civil rights are not protected. So I, I had dinner once, and Richard Clark was at the, at, this ta at the table, and I said to him, is there an equivalent? Is there a Patriot Act and a High Patriot Act? Just sitting, waiting for some substantial event for them to come in and have an excuse for radically changing, uh, uh, radically changing the way the internet works. And he said, of course there is. And I, I, I swear, this is what he said, and quote, Vint Surf is not going to like it very much. <laughs> So this is a big terror. Like they're just sitting, waiting for the inevitable to happen, and then slam. So, Larry, can we get an advanced copy? They haven't sent it to me yet, but when <laughs> I get it, I'll send. And this is more like a Patriot Act for the internet. It sort of lets the government run roughshod over privacy protections and share personal data about you, take it from Facebook and other internet providers, and use it without the normal privacy protections that are in the law. So as far as the individual is concerned, is this worse, even worse than the previous ones? More draconian? Yeah, it's worse because it does allow the government to shut down websites for national security reasons. So it does have all the censorship problems the previous bill did, but it also goes much further and allows them to spy on people using the internet to get their personal data and emails. It's a, an incredibly broad and dangerous bill. But they're now also being able to stop this bill. I mean, everyone said, you know, this is just a consensus in Washington, you couldn't do anything, and now even the White House is coming out against this bill in incredibly strong language, much stronger than they used against SOFA. I think there are some people in the White House who really do care about privacy. And the fact is when they looked at this bill and investigated, they saw how incredibly bad it was and that forced them to speak out. I think we're making a lot of progress and I think we'll see the bill eventually defeated.